project. Some of you know more than others. A lot of people here have been really central in getting this project off the ground and running. Um, but for those of you that don't know that much about it, we'd like to say a few words about our mission and how we sort of got started.
and they made this project happen. They reached out to me with a proposal in March that blew my socks off. Absolutely, yes, but I can't give you the approval to make this happen because I don't have the right to give you spaces. But I connected them with Sue and Mary, and they instantly, they met, and their proposal knocked their socks off, I, I suspect. <laughs> so one was the proposal. Well, they actually went to the Kim Foundation and presented this in a way that made them say, this is a really amazing project. I want to help you with this, right? So they secured funding at 17 or 16. Then they got volunteers to come. They coordinated, they did the design. And Lauren, I think she started the philanthropy group in Design Tech, is that right? Yes. Started that group. They came out and did Beach Cliffs with their group. Annie, Annie helped them, their partnership like this. And they kind of learned by seeing, and they wanted to find a solution to this problem. What a nice way to do it. Through it, I know, I can say with, with confidence, Annie has found her voice. And she's found a way to let us see it and hear it. When she started, she was very quiet. <laughs> Look at the growth that she has. Look at the growth of Lauren and the, and the vision and the ability to stick to it. So I can't say uh, that, I, I, that I have any more pride than, than, than I'm, I'm, I'm filling up and I'm blowing over. <laughs> and, and what contribution to our community? This is huge. Because this is beautiful, but it also speaks to us down deep. Down deep, these are special things in our community that we can lose. And only by seeing it, by really valuing it, by getting out and doing something for it, can we save these things. That's the message we're projecting here. And, and that's the message I get. And I hope that everybody gets that. And this is, not, this is a legacy for everybody. And we have many other spaces that this could be an inspiration for. You've inspired me. You've given us all inspiration. And I'm really, really proud of you. Annie, I know you already have one of these, but Lori, you are an honorary Pacific Beach Commission member.
to Jenny Jacob, to Melinda Moses, and to Linda Jonas, who really moved quickly with the mural subcommittee to get meetings together and to get that done. And then to the Beautification Advisory Committee itself, which is part of our city structure, to meet, to help hold the public hearings, to give people an opportunity to have their input. I want to thank our Department of Public Works that did Yeoman's work, getting the wall ready, getting the space ready, nothing but cooperation, and we're so grateful for that. And of course, you know, to the sponsors, thank you so much for making this possible. It was incredibly generous of you, and the leadership that you inspire in young people is inspiring to all of us. And we they inspire us. I know, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> So, and to all of you, you know, please spread the word about this. Obviously, we can't all have 250 people here today, but this mural is going to be here. So we want to draw attention to it. So I've given the girls a little bit of um, a little accolade, a little, um, the first of what I know will be many um, proclamations and letters of acknowledgement that will hang on your pride walls in your home. Let me just say, on behalf of the City Council and the citizens of Pacifica, we extend our most sincere appreciation to Lauren and to Annie, the muralists whose creative and visionary talent have created this beautiful splash of color mural. Our appreciation extends to Mike Bam Tiao with Design Tech High, the Dragon Kim Foundation, and the Pacific Beach Coalition for guidance, for funding, for partnership to bring this project to fruition through the Beautification Advisory Committee and the dedicated Mural Set Committee. The mural illustrates some of Pacifica's key values of environmental sustainability, a healthy and compassionate community, and an engaged community. It features plants and animals native to Pacifica and the California coast, including the endangered mission blue butterfly, blue-eyed grass, snowy plovers, California poppies, and other marine life while incorporating an important educational and enrichment component through their website and through the technology to help inform the community. So on this 21st day of August, as this mural is celebrated, the leadership and volunteer efforts of Lauren Wu and Annalise Phillips are to be commended for making a positive impact in the community in the spirit of public service. Thank you so much, Lauren and Annie, for all that you've done. Oh. We have some light food and drinks over there on the table, so feel free to help yourself to 
those, and then we have some plaques to give out. Um, but yeah, just feel free to walk along the mural and look at anything and take pictures. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks, Thank you.